Hello everyone, it's Suki back with the Let's Play, and we're in a change of environment, kind of. That doesn't make sense, we're in the end room, we're in a change of platform, we're on PC. Yeah, so I've been testing some settings with OBS, and uh, I've gotten somewhat consistent results. Um, hopefully we'll be able to stick with PC, just because uh, the quality will be better. And uh, yeah. Hopefully we can stick with this, but yeah, right now we're on PC. It's kind of still in the, the testing runs, if that makes any sense. But uh, for the moment, we're, we're on PC. Uh, max settings, uh, 1080p, 60 frames per second, so uh, hopefully we can keep it that way. But yeah, we're on, uh, on the Let's Play, and uh, it's actually the first video I've been on the Let's Play since uh, Patch 4.3 started. And there's been some changes, uh, namely one to the glamour dresser. We can now pull stuff out of the glamour dresser, which is actually really cool. So I actually wanted to try something. I'm not sure if you can do this or not, but uh, if you recall, I actually really like. Never mind. I'm going to have to repair it. I'll be back. But I actually really like the uh, the foe striker slash brand new gear style of. Uh, of armor so I want to make that into a glamour set and I want to see if I can actually make a glamour plate using it and then pull it out and then still have it available for use so let's see now there should be a repair person right here Let's go ahead and get our old gear back, and then we'll go ahead and put these oops in here. I'm still kind of new to using. I actually haven't used the glamour dresser a whole lot since they added it. It's a nice addition, but um, uh, I haven't been using it much because uh, until recently you couldn't pull your armor out, and that really bothered me because I'm just kind of sentimental like that. So uh, yeah, but now you can. So fingers crossed that uh, doesn't cause any problems. Alright, so let's go ahead and make this. Actually, not a huge fan of the gloves, so I'll stick with that. That actually looks okay. And then we can have... It actually looks better with uh, something white. Yeah, we'll save that glamour plate. And then what we're going to do now is pull all of that armor out so we can still use it for uh, leveling other jobs like Archer. So we have all the gear. Let's put this back into my inventory. So now that it's not in the glamour dresser, let's see if that actually works. And it looks like it does. So that's actually pretty neat. I really like that. <laughs> that's that's really neat actually. Uh, the only thing left to do at this point is to um, we'll add more plates because 10 uh, it sounds like it's a lot, but for people like me who really like to change outfits, it's not. Uh, or at least the ability to save plates, uh, like just kind of store plates and then just have take them out. Actually, do they have that feature? I'm going to check real quick. I feel like they've talked about that feature before, like being able to store glamour plates and then just be able to carry only 10 with you at any time. Yeah, I don't think so. But yeah, in time maybe. But yeah, having more glamour plates in general, being able to save glamour plates, and then just being able to only carry 10 at a time, and then also being able to use glamour plates uh, anywhere. Because right now you can only use them uh, inside of certain areas, basically city-states, uh, residential areas, stuff like that. Like, you wouldn't be able to use it out in the field, like in Central, Shroud, or anything like that. But yeah. So today... Uh, last video we did the thousand balls of total rack, so I think we should go ahead and carry on with the story a little bit more. So I believe the last quest we had was in the shrouds. We're gonna head up over there, and yeah, I actually don't recall the exact chain of events. I think we'll be heading to Little Alamigos soon. I think Little Alamigos like in the level 26 range, and Total Rock is in like 
the 24 range, so soon. And then we should be coming back here into Quarry Mill after we head to Alamigo for a bit. And then once we finish up with Alamigo, we should be setting up for Hawk Manor. But in in between all that time, we also have to um, <laughs> we also have to. Uh, well, let me fix this. But we also have to uh, unlock Ninja and finish up the Rogue Quest line. Should probably use the salmon up. I don't know why I came up here. I guess I'm just so used to doing beast tribes over here in this the sh the, the shroud, the east shroud. Believe in yourself. I hate the localization team. I mean, sure, you're being chased, let's just run into a dangerous dungeon. That sounds like a great idea. I actually really like the sylphs. I think they're actually quite adorable. They're one of my favorite beast tribes. In fact, one of my favorite titles is actually Sylph Friend, which you get from uh, from doing the beast tribes later on. I think we unlocked that in like the mid-40s. I mean, you're welcome to try. You're kind of short. I mean, so am I. I shouldn't talk. Walking one is Stella. You know, I probably mentioned this in like a previous um, video in the series, but this totally is Ocarina of the Time, right? Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of the Time.
Alright. Slash Luca. Also, if you, you happen to walk beyond this point at this low of a level, you'd probably get destroyed. I don't know if you can hear that train. Yeah, there are trains and planes next to where I live. It's amazing, actually. There we go. Now we can head back to the Adder's Nest. But I do believe there's one side quest. Yep, here. We'll do that real quick. Also, what is with my text? It's like, so small. I actually just, um, I did some, some PC trickery and, <laughs> and I actually, um, I actually changed, uh, or grabbed, rather, my HUD from my main character and just transferred it over to this one. So I actually have a lot of, like, I like all my gear sets are all messed up, I think. I think I got rid of them. I had, like, all the gear sets that I had on my main. I have, like, some of these, uh, like this. My emote bar is the same as my main. Very convenient. I kind of wish there was like an actual in-game way to like keep your HUD consistent across all your characters. But I guess there's only crazy people like me who actually make more than one character to begin with. So I can't exactly imagine there's a lot of people pining for that kind of feature. It would be extremely helpful for me though. Also, so close to Ninja. I really can't wait. It'll be nice. Yeah, so I looks like I need to get the weekend first. You just need to get them below 20%. Also, I'm really annoyed. Yeah, I don't need the profanity filter. I think that gets rid of the, the beeping noise. Yeah, there we go. Also, I need to change... Um, The uh, hot bar help. That's actually really distracting for me as well. Sorry, I'm just kind of doing random stuff. I don't want the pet hot bar either during this. But uh, you know, transferring over to a different platform, there's bound to be some uh, some stuff I need to iron out. This actually gives you a unique belt. Actually, uh, it's not a particularly great belt, but it is unique. Which is kind of interesting. If they made it high quality, it would actually be pretty nice. But it's uh, it's no quality. Unfortunately. These things will probably aggro me, huh? Yep. I don't think they follow me all the way in here, do they? Yeah. So, little gifts, I had to go get the materials for them to make me my gift, but it is a gift nonetheless. Alright, let's head back. Alright, while we're in loading screen, I'm gonna go ahead and check. Yeah, just making sure my recording is actually recording. 
Uh, it'd be really catastrophic if it wasn't because I can't redo story uh, things at all. So uh, if I did mess up and I lost my recording or didn't record, then uh, it'd be uh, it'd be pretty bad. Because I wouldn't be able to get that footage ever again without making an entirely new character. So let's not. This will just give me a bunch of serpent seals. I think this just points you to um, to front lines, which is uh, basically PV, one of the PvP modes. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of PvP in this game. I just don't do it very often, but it's there. I've uh, I've done a few PvP matches, uh, mostly just because uh, the glamour actually looks nice. They actually put quite a bit of effort into. Uh, PvP sets, which is a little unfortunate because there aren't a whole lot of people who enjoy PvP in this game. But it does uh, get people to play it, so... I guess it's a double-edged sword there. Also, I just realized how ugly my necklace is. Alright, so... Can I apply for a promotion? I can, I just don't have enough seals. And I don't have anything to turn in, really. Yeah, having another uh, class to do Grand Company leaves on would be great, actually. Could uh, get Grand Company seals and level up. I have to go all the way to the Wolves' Den, huh? This is, yeah, from Lord of the Ocean. So let's head there first. Also, I need to remember I don't have like 2,000 eighth right tickets on this character. Actually, how many do I have? I have 84. I still have quite a few. Oh, yeah. I get a big surplus of those. Basically, whenever um, Centurial Seals uh, aren't useful. I was going the right direction. Whenever Centurial Seals aren't useful, I basically use them on 8th right tickets or ventures. And so I usually have, uh, I have quite a few on my other two characters. Oh goodness. Okay, it actually took me to the website. <laughs> I was not expecting that. If you saw a little judder there, that's why. I think the game automatically uh, limits FPS when you're um, when you're not logged or toggled into the window. This just unlocks the dueling. experience woohoo I'm so hesitant to use sprint now just because I know that uh, it comes off cooldown so not often also I just realized I need to be level 30 to do this don't I yeah well uh, it actually doesn't give any XP, so I'm actually not opposed to hopping onto my Lancer. Oh, 
I think we're gonna get a little video of the feast, which is one of the modes. I wonder if they actually update this video, or if it was always like this. I don't actually remember. Yeah, yeah, PvP stuff. Wolves dead. Yeah, yeah. So actually, there's a lot of cool gear you can get. But yeah, probably not gonna touch PvP on this character at all. But uh, it is there. And uh, we get we got like a free like 1,400 Grand Company seals worth, so uh, that's pretty nice. I think we have to head back to the Waking Sands now. So let's go ahead and do that. How long have I been recording for? About 22 minutes. It's another thing too, is because uh, since I don't actually have a second monitor hooked up, I can't actually check my settings in OBS without toggling out of the window. Guess I should make a mental note of remembering when I started, or like doing a stopwatch on my phone or something. <laughs> that would be helpful, huh? Also, it would be nice if the Aether Rite was just in Vesper Bay itself, it's considering how often you have to come back to the Waking Sands throughout the story. Unlock that right now. Yeah, I wonder when we'll see her again.
Uh, Titan. I want to get to Titan. Titan was so fun. I loved Titan. So short. Why didn't you bring this up like when everyone else was here? Walking one is Stella. I love I love Papa Limo's face right now. It's great. this I actually spent quite a long time on this video already and we haven't even done that much I guess that's how it is in every video back from the wood shadow of darkness we're still at level 24 main quest Looks like we're heading to Alamigo now. Or Little Alamigo, rather. There's that train again. Oh yes, I do. No, I actually might go to High Bridge first. Forgot about that. High Bridge is in Eastern Island, I believe. Yep.
that teleportation is like so convenient makes you wonder why the characters inside the universe don't use it more often like I realize it costs Gil like um I think I think the explanation they gave is that there's there are like eighth right like guards that are just hang out around the eighth right and uh, when you use the eighth right to teleport somewhere they uh, they're there to collect the gill that uh, you spend teleporting even though you don't see that that's I believe that was the explanation they gave yeah, it looks like we have some stuff to do on high bridge which is fine we can actually I don't think this section is that long so we can actually connect to uh, what we were doing before and then we'll save Alamigo for the next video, or Little Alamigo. Keep calling it Alamigo. I'll take your bloody masked man. Oh yes, the guy who wants his hair back. I remember that. That quest line. It's actually a chain, if I remember correctly. I think you come back here later too, like at a later level. knows I love my side quests. Also, I forgot to mention. Oh look, my uh, Chocobo leveled up, actually. But I actually got my Chocobo's favorite feed to Mimic Gourds, finally. It took forever. But yeah, so I'm actually gonna grab Choco Cure. I could just keep developing him through the healer tree, but I think uh, once you get Choco Cure, you can pretty much just go down the attacker tree, in my opinion. Uh, the defender tree isn't really worth it, because uh, it, you the Chocobo does a terrible job of holding enmity anyway, <laughs> so there's really no point in my opinion. Yeah, healer tree and attacker tree are basically the two you want to go for, or a mix of the two, which is what I prefer. Although if you do go do one tree, uh, you do actually get the proper barding, so you get the white mage barding for the healer tree, uh, paladin barding I believe for the... Uh, Defender tree, and then uh, I think it's Dragoon Barding for the attacker tree. And then, of course, you can use that Venerian Onions to basically go down all three trees if you really wanted to. Those are still kind of hard to get. You have to actually grow them yourselves. And uh, I haven't been paying attention to gardening that much uh, in quite a while. I have a lot of houses where I could garden, a lot of mansions too which have more opportunities for gardening, but I just, uh, I'm lazy. <laughs> That's really what it comes down to. I mean, I have no problem logging in every day to make sure they get watered, but I'm just a little lazy. Could be making good money off that though. So let's go ahead and actually summon. And basically now, um, let me see. Set to hop bar. If I use a mimic gourd while it's summoned, he gets a buff. That does actually, you know, I actually have a real mouse, so I don't have to keep doing this. But yeah, magic potency increased. But yeah, so it's actually really helpful since I'm a DPS, uh, having more reliable heals. It's always a good thing, especially uh, 
just doing things out in the world is actually really helpful, especially if I want to do like fates and stuff. Although to be completely honest, I probably don't need to do fates. I'm going to have absolutely no troubles over leveling from all of the side quests and dungeons and stuff that I have to do. Even even leveling another like class and job, I'm not sure I'll be able to completely avoid just how much I'll be over leveling. But we'll see. Also, I just realized I can trick attack. The trick attack used to be level 50, I believe, but since they got rid of sneak attack, I got trick attack instead at an earlier level. I still can only use trick attack when hidden, though. But I believe you can sprint while hiding. Now. Where is hide? Yeah, you can use sprint now with hide, which is nice. Uh, you can use sprint with stealth. Stealth is basically hide, but uh, for gatherers, and maybe for crap, I don't think crafters have it, but for gatherers you have stealth. And you could sprint with stealth, and it made you faster. I actually don't know how fast, if you go at full speed with, uh, with hide on. I guess there's one way to find out, huh? Yeah, you go about the same speed as uh, sprinting with uh, with stealth on. That's a little unfortunate. Also, I should have uh, popped food. I don't know what it is, like, um, like, 4.3 just came out a few days ago. Uh, I've, I've gone through a lot of the, the con there actually wasn't a whole lot of new content at the start of 4.3. A lot of it's getting staggered throughout uh, the cycle of 4.3, which is, you know, fine. Uh, there's a lot of quality of life things, which are quite enjoyable. Also had, you know, a couple of additions, like, duties to do, which were nice. But there weren't a whole lot of things added, so I'm actually just having fun doing whatever been catching up doing side quests and side stories and side content that I've missed on my other characters and uh, been really wanting to do more on this character that's why I'm doing it even though it's uh, it's a new patch but uh, it's a good thing because now I can just stock up on um, on videos to post and uh, keep them coming out regularly. I've actually been fairly decently doing well. I've been having a video, at least one video, sometimes more a day, which is uh, a good, good pace to keep up with. Because there's a lot, a lot of videos to get through, especially just, just thinking of how many videos are going to be in this series alone is. Uh, boggling my mind a bit. Honestly, a lot of it has to do with the fact that I spent so much time doing completely random stuff that people would not care to do, but I'm me, so there's that. Ah, uh, yes. This might actually be really good because I have hide. Attack I remember doing attack on high bridge. It's actually like a fate uh, quest chain or fate chain but yeah I really don't think I need to do any fates whatsoever I think I'll be just fine when it comes to EXP like I'm already like four levels almost five levels above the main story right now so might actually be able to uh, unlock ninja soon. I would say in the next video, but I need to finish the rogue quest line before that, so probably not the next video. That reminds me, what do I have on my hunting log? Um, 
I forgot I transferred over my main my main HUD over so I don't have the hunting log because I've already finished the hunting log on my main. Uh, they didn't actually update the hunting log past level 50 so going into the next two inspections or expansions they didn't update it. Oh, I missed that in the shop. I'll be back in the south shroud. It's actually not that big of a deal. Yeah, all of these are not in the eastern Netherlands, so we're fine. Ghostly axe beaks. Sure, why not? Kind of miss when Aeolian Edge didn't have a uh, positional. I mean, I actually don't mind it. I don't actually mind positionals in general, but it, it really sucks for solo play. It'd be kind of nice if they just changed uh, random just like enemies out in the world to be uh, omnipositional. Uh, they're basically what that means is basically that uh, you can hit them from any side, and you'll technically get all your positionals no matter where you're hitting them from. Uh, that's how it is in uh, all the enemies in Palace of the Dead, Deep Dungeon, uh, are omnipositional. And there's some bosses that are omnipositional as well, just because of how their hitboxes work. Like, you can see that, uh, you know, I guess this, it's dead, but you can see, like, the arrows where they're facing. So this is the front, these are the flanks, and then the little open spot in the back of the circle, that's considered the rear. When an enemy is omnipositional, it'll just be a solid circle all around. That's how you know. It'd be really nice if they did that change to make solo play a little easier for melee DPS. Especially Monk. Basically every <laughs> every uh, global cooldown ability they have is uh, positional. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna skip through all this dialogue. None of it is particularly interesting. What am I delivering this to? Oh, back there. That's fair. So now we can go ahead and grab the uh, the little clues in the Kurgan lair. Like I said, this might actually be really easy on uh, on Rogue, just because I have hide. I can just go past all of them. But uh, running through this area uh, without hide is actually quite annoying. Uh, you'll actually a end up aggroing quite a few enemies if you're not careful, which uh, can get you killed real fast. So let's try not to do that. Yeah. I mean, I could just use hide, but... Alright, aggro one. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. And now we can just get aggroed. That's what we can do. We can just get aggroed. We can just run out of here, though. There's, like, no reason to fight everything in our way. And our chocobo should not engage unless we attack first. Kind of makes me wish they'd given Chocobos some commands, kind of like you get with um, with pets. I hope that person doesn't die. I'm not a healer, so I can't save them. I really like that as a being a healer, leveling up though. It was real fun just being able to help people out in the world. I remember doing that back when uh, the game first released, also this thing is going to cleave me. And stun me. Okay then. If you wanna die, that's fine. I did.
Look at that, level 29. Still attacking high bridge. Also, that person is dead. And I cannot help them. I don't even think I have a phoenix down. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I'm sorry, my friend. I do actually wonder why they make phoenix downs unique. You can only carry one of them at a time, which is really kind of annoying. I mean, you can't use them in battle. So, uh, I wouldn't mind just carrying around a pile of them just in case people end up needing them out in the world. But yeah, that's actually... I'm, I'm not sure why what the logic is behind that. If you could use them in battle, then yeah, that'd be pretty insane, actually. In fact, I'm glad you can't, because then everyone would be like, yeah, make sure you have like a stack of Phoenix Downs. Back already. Wow. Attack on high bridge is still happening, unfortunately, which means there's going to be a ton of enemies to walk past. Also, I do believe I have. No, I don't. Never mind. Alright, let's see if we can't sneak our way through all of this nonsense. I'm surprised there's still a brass blade alive. I don't even see him. Oh wait, he's totally going to follow me back here like he did last time, isn't he? Alright. I have a really bad habit of doing this. Stay, don't you? Yeah, this is what takes us to Little Alamigo. tuned to Little Valmigo. Huh. I actually might have came here for one of the quests for something, actually. Maybe. I don't remember. <laughs> right, we should be wrapping up the video kind of soon. Talk to the Chocobo Keep, why not? I actually, uh, I don't think I'll ever need to use him. Now that I have my access to my own mounts, but maybe. So I'm pretty sure we come here and uh, they just tell us to go away, basically. Actually, this might be what leads us to Quarry Mill, I think. 
and then we head back to Little Alamigo later. Yeah, basically they just tell us to screw off. It's kind of nice, I guess. Alright, well, looks like we have quite a few quests to do here, and uh, looks like we're going to start a new chain of doing quests here in Little Alamigo as well as Quarry Mill later on, so um, I think this is a good place to stop. After we do all of these quests, chains, we should actually be close to level 30, and uh, can finish the rogue quest line after that, and unlock Ninja. So getting close to some exciting things. But... For the time being, I think this is a good place as any to stop the video, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in another one. Hopefully, OBS holds up, and uh, we can keep continue on PC, because uh, that is better quality for me, and therefore better quality for you. So, thank you all for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one. Sayonara, bye bye.